Hey everyone, my name is Eddie Verovitz. I'm a computer science engineer here at Multilink, and welcome to Multitech Talks. Today we'll be talking about the EB1 series and our new product, EB1 LP. So on the right hand side of the power supply is the EB1S inverter module. Now this is a removable power supply module that has a four line LCD display, has six status LEDs that tell you about the immediate status of the input, the output, and the battery voltage, as well as communication with the transponder. On this inverter module, we have a battery connection down here. This connects to a 36 volt or a 48 volt battery string. Additionally, it can also connect to lithium batteries. We have our 60 or 80 amp breaker, and we have additional connections here inside the cabinet that will connect to a tamper switch, an additional transponder or power supply, and we also have our cabinet indicator connection as well, and our temperature probe that wires up to the battery string. Now in the event that this power supply has a failure in the field, as I mentioned, this is a removable inverter module that allows for hot swapping in the field. So you can remove this product and the plant still stays active during this time. Now the tech would come on in and replace this with another inverter module, or if you would like, you could also upgrade the inverter module from a 3.0 system, which this transponder is, to a 3.1. Now what makes the EB1S truly stand out is its plug and play capability. Given its physical dimensions, it fits into most existing enclosures. Using industry standard connectors, it connects directly to the HFC plant. It uses existing battery harness connections as well as AC connections. Now, if you have any peripheral devices inside the cabinet, these can connect directly to the EB1S with the use of an additional battery adapter harness, a temperature probe harness, BBM harness, or a cabinet indicator harness. Outside of that, what makes the EB1S truly stand out is its ability to work with any battery system. Because we've incorporated lithium battery charging into the use of the EB1S, the EB1S is now the most versatile power supply in the market. In the heart of the EB1S is the ferro-resonant transformer. We have four standard output capacities driven by the size of the transformer. And this allows us to have the highest efficiency that we can provide in line mode and inverter mode. Now, the size of the transformer dictates the output capacity. So you'll have 15 amp power supplies with an 18 amp power supply, and the two other standards that we have is seven and a half amp and a 10 amp power supply. Now with the introduction of the EB1 LP series that introduces a three amp and a five amp power supply as well. Those power supplies are a little bit smaller in dimension and the transformer itself is a little bit smaller, but it all retains the inherent short circuit protection that we offer with the ferro resonant transformer. So we've just turned on the EB1S power supply. Now we're gonna walk through the LCD panel and do a brief discussion about the LEDs. Now when you first turn on the EB1S, you're presented with the four-line LCD menu. Each one of these buttons indicates a menu that's available to the user to view. The leftmost button indicates the input parameters. So here we can see our input as well as our battery input. At the moment we're reading zero volts DC because we do not have a battery string attached to the EB1S, as well as indicated by our battery status and our charger status LEDs. If you were to press the input button again, you could then see how much input power we are drawing. And we can also see that this method works for each other menu. Now this menu we're viewing is the output menu. Here we can see our output voltage, as well as the current draw for each output one and two. At the moment, we're only utilizing output one with a current draw of 2.1 amps. And again, we can press this to see how many watts we are drawing from each output. In the alarm menu system, here we can see that we have several alarms that we can cycle through with the press of a button. Because we have no battery voltage connected to the system, we are indicating a low battery voltage alarm, as well as no temperature probe attached to the system as well. Now in the menu system here, you can see the structure of additional menus that you can select. We have a performance menu, as well as a history and event log menu, battery status, the transponder data menu, configuration, firmware versions, and user data input menus. 
One of the most useful features that this power supply has is with the press of three buttons, you can see all pertinent information on one screen for both the input, the output, battery, and any alarm information all on one display. Thank you for listening to our Multilink Tech Talk. For more information about our products, please visit our YouTube channel or visit our Multilink website at gomultilink.com.